Hello one and all, this is Luckless Lovelox and welcome to Life is Strange. I'm super excited to start this game. This is the game that won the Patreon poll for May 2017. So thank you to all of my patrons uh, that voted for this game. And thank you for all the support, everyone that's uh, that's supported the my stream and my YouTube channel. I truly appreciate it and I hope you enjoy my playthrough of what I've heard is an amazing game. And speaking of that, I don't know much about this game. I've seen a few screenshots. I know it by reputation. I hear it's an amazing story with great characters and it's got some feels. We'll see how I deal with it. I, I'm a pretty, I could be a pretty emotional person, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to handle the feels, but I'm looking forward to finally exploring this story with you guys. You can expect some longer episodes. So these are going to be longer videos and I hope you guys enjoy that. And I think it's going to be, I think it's going to fit the format of this game really well because it's played in episodes. And I just started up the game before to, to test out the sound and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to jump right in and please, oh, the other thing is please don't spoil anything in the comment section. Um, I don't want to have to disable comments because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm blind. I don't know what's going to happen in the story guys, like at all. So um, I think it's going to be a lot more enjoyable if we just enjoy the ride together. If you've never played the game before and you want to, or seen or played the game before and you want to talk about the story and kind of theorize, I'm totally cool with that. Just uh, please, if you know the answers, don't post them. Um, all right, let's jump in, guys. Let's have some fun. Let's feel together and uh, let's enjoy the story. Episode one. Restart the game from this chapter. Here we go. Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. Wake up in a storm and need to make it to a life house, okay. We're playing as a young girl. Let's take a look around. I am playing uh, using a controller, just so you know. Um, Cause it said, uh, the game said it's best to experience it with a controller. Can we look at the sun? Use caution on trail, dangerous drop offs. Okay. That's pretty dangerous too. There's logs by the by the path. Whoa, oh man, that is cool. Come on, Max. You can make it. My name is Max. That's both beautiful and terrifying at the same time. It's gotta be, is this like a dream? Blackwell, 19 something. Blackwell Academy, 1910. Skull and crossbones. Arcadia Bay. What is this? Uh, what? Looks like some broken machinery. Cinder block? What the hell is that? 
I mean, it's like a tornado, but... Oh. I think that's the city down below. Oh, it must be... It must be part of... Maybe it's part of that uh, antenna. Oh my god. Whoa. That was so surreal. Famously called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now. Can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller? Weird. Diane Arbus. Yeah, Bueller. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of... Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Because of her images of hopeless faces. She didn't say that, but we're reading it. Hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the oh, eyes of those sad mothers her. and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? Oh, I can look around, okay. And frankly, it's bullshit. I do love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Uh... <laughs> let's, let's play cool. I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process okay. brought out fine detail in people's faces. We got the, we got the selfie. became extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American Daguerreotype I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But <laughs> I like it old school. Textbook. Or even... Okay, we've got a journal. Oh! And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Uh, I miss looking at some stuff, but... Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. She went right over. Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Uh, okay. Wonder who that was. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Someday. Max lacks some confidence, I guess. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. Pop Vine is grunge dead. Featuring the latest works from Mark Jefferson. 
10 reasons to get electronic mail. I did notice that we had like a Polaroid camera, so... I don't understand. I'm not really sure what time period this takes place in. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Everyone looks extremely happy, of course. Judging by the computer, though, it's got to be like regular, like, it's got to be like kind of modern times, right? Not like the 80s. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock. God, I'm such a photo nerd. I understood half of those terms. So cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. Synapse. Mark Jefferson's Noir Beauty. Film versus digital. Who will win? I think digital will win. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. Oh yeah. What? Uh, me too? Kate. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. See what's bugging her. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. Kate, I, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. What is that we have on our shirt? Is it, uh, is it like a deer? I can't see what it says, but it looks like, um, like a young deer, maybe? Paper ball. Okay, what was on this? Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Dear Kate, we love your porn video. Ugh. Okay. I like this panoramic view of Blackwell. Everything looks so green and serene. So that's the uh, town we saw from that dream sequence or whatever it was. Huh, this might make a cool shot. Could take photos, oh, that's cool. And, oh, neat. Okay, so, oh, it's like, they're like collectibles. You can take photos of different parts of the game. Rachel Amber, love forever. Areas to unlock, Two Wells Diner, Water Tower, the old junkyard. It's like a pretty small town. Email? Have a very special 18th birthday. You're an adult now, but you're still our little girl. Check your account. Don't blow it all at once. What I'm what's that? September 21st? That's almost my birthday. My birthday is September 16th. It's very close. The episodes, I guess? Max. Okay, let's read up on some backstories here. My name is Max Colfield, and ever since I was a little kid, I knew I wanted to be a photographer. I've always seen the world through my own lens finder. Maybe it's a way for me to be part of the world, but at a safe distance. I can I can totally relate with that. That's kind of like it's one of the reasons why I play video games. It's kind of like to experience someone else's perspective on on the world, but from a distance. Uh, for some reason, I was always drawn to old analog camera gear that rather than digital tech. Okay, that's why she has the Polaroid, Polaroid camera. I love all kinds of styles and techniques, but for me, the instant camera selfie is the one I love most. I don't care if people make fun of me or not. I'm in great company, right? And now I've come all the way back to my childhood home to study photography at Blackwell Academy, a private school for 12th grade seniors. On a scholarship even, I originally left behind Chloe my best friend forever. 
At least until I left without talking to her once in five years. That's rough. And it feels so weird to be back here without seeing her yet. So I'm 18 now, an official adult. Even though I don't always feel so wise or mature, I can also relate with that. And I'm ready to begin a whole new life here with Retro Camera at my side. She loves Seattle. So she must have gone to Seattle, I guess, when she left. She was born here, she grew up here, best friend here, left behind, came back for this. Okay, so we've got Mark Jefferson. Not only is Mark Jefferson one of the best photographers in the world, he's also my teacher. And one of the reasons I wanted to, be, to come to Blackwell. How often do you get to be mentored by one of your inspirations? I've always loved his deco and goth style, and he's so versatile with all of his incredible print and advertising work. Still, Jefferson can be a bit condescending. He's pretty hip for his age, but kind of aloof, and sometimes pretentious. He has this smug smile when he thinks he's right, but I do think he's preparing us for how tough it is to be a full-time artist. Uh, my brother is actually a photographer, and it's it's really like artistic photographer, and it's really hard to make a living just doing that. Uh, he acts like he understands my own work and obsession with analog images. He really wants me to enter a photo in this everyday heroes contest. Kind of seems up our alley. It's like that that theme seems to match our style. But I've done a, a good job of avoiding that. The winner gets to fly to San Francisco to represent Blackwell Academy and get national exposure. I like to think my work could be good enough to win, and I'm honored Jefferson even bugs me about the contest. Um, okay, who's this? Kate Marsh? I've forgotten if I've ever seen Kate Marsh smile or laugh in the past month. She's really sweet and nice, even though the other students make fun of her abstinence campaign. Okay. Even if they act immature, everybody at Blackwell are seniors, not high school freshmen. She gets a lot of shit, in fact. I know she's involved in a lot of religious groups, but she doesn't preach to me, so I don't care. But she's been extra quiet and introverted the past couple of weeks. Okay. Something's happened to her. She looks like she's in zombie mode. I wish I could help her, but I can barely help myself. I wonder if all that bullying has worn her down. I can see how it would. I have to make an effort to talk to her more often. Maybe invite her to tea or, or a movie? Although she's an adult, I bet she's not allowed to watch R-rated films. Hmm. True love waits. Ah, uh, Victoria. Let's say shush, I'm dreaming. She's a pretty good doodler, too. Uh, then there's Victoria Chase, the elite of Blackwell Academy. And a total bitch. And I hate saying that. I just don't know why somebody who's so rich and beautiful needs to be so fucking mean. 18 years old at a prestigious academy should be evolving into, an, into artists and scholars. Not reality show contestants. Victoria does everything for maximum drama. She actually wastes her time calling me out in class and taunting Kate Marsh. For reals, I wish her parents could see her in action. They'd cut off that trust fund fast. Then again, she's in the Vortex Club. Vortex, okay. That kind of brings back images of what we saw at the beginning. She's in the Vortex Club, and they seem to own the school. So maybe that's why she doesn't give a shit. The odd thing is that she does know art and photography. She could even say all those French names that break my tongue. Her work is a little cold, but she has a good eye. She also has an eye for Mr. Jefferson, which is so obvious that I'm embarrassed for her. She does everything but sit in his lap. He keeps his distance, though. We can all tell she's trying to win the Everyday Heroes contest. I'm sure it drives her crazy when there's somebody she can't buy or seduce. <laughs> okay, that's it. Uh, so we got some more text messages. Um... This is from Kate, right? Gotta remember these names. Kate. Kate, Kate, Kate. Hey, Max, you around? Always. You okay? Do you want to get tea later today? Absolutely. I'll be free after four. Talk to you later. Oh, nice. Okay. So she does want to get tea with us. Message from mom. Happy birthday, Maxine. We can't believe it's been 18 whole years since you were brought to us. That was on the 21st. This is the, this is a few days later. Warren, okay. If you want to meet for coffee after school, this is October 2nd? Or is it 2002? No. 
Oh, so this is, uh... These messages were from before. Don't need for coffee after school. I need an excuse to not study. Please. Make sure you check out Necromantic on my flash drive. <laughs> hey, Mad Max, let's bust shit up. A few days later. Wait, I have to study for a physics test. So if we bust anything, we also have to measure its velocity. Don't ignore this message. So we're just, like, ignoring... Ignoring uh, Warren. All right. Interrupt this. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Didn't have any time. Um, let's go with, do I have to? Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. So, I, I guess we haven't taken the picture yet. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. I'm still sucking up. You can never escape the lighthouse here. So the lighthouse is going to be an important symbol. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images, but I still dig my little instant camera. Kinda, I kind of dig Max's style. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. So cool that we can check these out anytime. The Decisive Moment by Henri Cartier-Bresson? That's rare. One of my Henry favorites. Henry Leibovitz, mad respect. The amazing Eugene Smith? Good to see Abaddon among the masters. Golly, of course. Lots of people I haven't heard of yet. I guess that's why I'm here. Here's the poster for the contest. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really Echo. expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. Are you an everyday hero? Find out, enter to win. Everyday Heroes Photo Contest. Submit an image that best represents yourself or others in heroic action. Deadline, October 9th, 2013. 2013. Probably, I, I don't know if that's the year this game came out. I can't remember when it came out, but surprised it's been that long. The winner will fly to San Francisco and represent their school in the National Everyday Heroes competition at the Zeitgeist Gallery on October 11th, 2013. Well, that's like two days later. Uh, you may submit one image on approved paper for consideration. For those 18 and under, a parent's permission form must be included with the image. 18 and under, so we need uh, our parents' permission. Sounds like. All right, let's head out. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I'm not paying on you. Welcome look. to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special I picture. Just getting you ready because Max wants everybody to see how hip she is. She plays it so sharp. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant pen.
Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. Digging the music? Digging the music? Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. Is there a locker? I hate having everybody see inside my locker. Well, let's take a look. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous as usual. Jack. Do we have um, a thing on Jack? No. Brother, I guess? That's Dana talking to... I think his name is Justin. I'm gonna forget all these names. Dana is on my floor, too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. I shouldn't be so catty. Dana is nice to me. Wait, who's this? Stella. Stella is always deep in her mouth. She didn't come to Blackwell for messing around. Uh, can we stop this? I hate jock straps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. Poor Daniel, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. Warren. I haven't run into Warren yet. Who's this guy? Oh, um, I don't think I looked at these two. I cry sometimes, walking around my own Taylor and Courtney. There's Taylor, always waiting for Victoria. I think that's Courtney. She's such a slave to Taylor and Victoria. It's a science room. Ah, oh, the science room. Here's the portal to Warren's brain. Ah, okay. Warren's a science nerd. It's a person poster. These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere. Oh. Arcadia Bay, date missing, Monday, April 22nd, 2013. 19 years old, 5'5", five 110 five, pounds, blonde, eyes hazel. Tattoo on a calf of a dragon and a star on the inside of the left wrist. Rachel Amber. That's not a good sign. Another poster here. I shouldn't be so stingy with my blood. Blood, give it up. Blackwell Academy needs fresh blood. Join our Halloween blood drive on October 31st, 2013. Best costume wins a prize. Oh, that's cool. 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at Blackwell Gymnasium. I like the Halloween blood drive. What a neat little, uh, little, little intro. I'm really digging the, the vibe so far. What's this? Gun-free zone. Uh, I hope so. I wish October would last forever. American girls, I like October too. I love the weather during October. Don't need a PC. I missed the Poetry Jam tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. Blackwell Poetry Jam tryouts. Number 16! There you go, there's my birthday. PC laptop for the moto, 600 bucks. Uh, backpack with all my school books and my new tablet was taken from the cafeteria after I left on the table. It, I, in case you guys aren't familiar with my channel, I read everything. <laughs> I truly try to dig into the story. Um, I really need this stuff for school and my tablet has a lot of very personal pics of my late cats. Aww. Willing to pay small cash reward, no questions asked. Do you have any details or would like to confess? You know who and where I am. Okay. I don't think there's anything too important there. That's so messed up. I should contact him to find out what I can do. As if I am. Save Arcadia Bay. Over the past decade, climate change has altered the Oregon coastline, including fish and fauna. This has helped decimate the state's fishing industry. 
especially in Arcadia Bay. Raise your voice against pollution and save our historic town. Don't let your town down. Or missing persons? I wonder what actually happened to her. That's Rachel Amber again. What is this? Good thing coming? I left my AK at home. She's I, I'm, I live in Canada. I don't think I've ever seen a gun-free zone poster in school. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. I don't know if that exists in such like a small town also. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro. But he's actually not an ass. Vortex Club poster, he's putting them up. Oh, I can hardly wait to never be too cool like Nathan and Victoria. Lame. That's when I fly. Same one. Same poster. Men's room. Okay, uh, there's some more people over here. Let's take a look at them. He's cute. I like skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. The Bigfoot stomp. I should develop some school spirit. Go team. Yeah, big time school spirit. There's the lighthouse again. I think we're going to be seeing the lighthouse everywhere. Oh, map. Okay. How many students ever actually memorize all this shit? I guess we all should these days. Everyone, everyone have this memorized? Miss Gant. Okay. okay it's sometimes hard to... to all of you. There we go. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. Oh, Grant. Imagine a world Principal doesn't come out of his office much. American so much to look at. Wow. Like Ray Lewis is the principal. Part of the world you. Samuel. God, Driving Samuel is such a weirdo. But I kind of like that about him. Nothing wrong with being a weirdo. From the you can really learn a lot about a school by the weird shit posted on the board. Okay, there's a lot here. Best singer ever in Oregon looking for best guitarist ever to form kick-ass band to take over the world. Ramones, the Shins, the Beatles, the Ramones. Twice, the White Stripes, the Ramones. I think they might like the Ramones. Smiths, the Who, the Ramones, uh, the Style Council. I don't know the Style Council. And Lady Gaga. Uh, one of those doesn't quite belong. Steve Hackney. Sad, lonely, depressed, come praise with your peers. Bible study Sundays at noon in the Arcadia Bay Library. All face welcome, so be happy. Sim like an otter, experienced retired PE teacher and former otter champion will personally train you to glide through the water and embrace your inner otter. For details, contact Michelle uh, Barinci. Like new tablet for sale. Five, five gigabytes of cat pics. All about the cat pics. Look at these trophies. Gotta give it up for those Bigfoots. They do stomp. Black Wolf sure takes its swimming seriously. But otters are cute. Go otters. Now, is the washroom or bathroom over here? Chesty. Nerd alert. This poster has Warren written all over it. I was like actually excited about the Chesty poster. Not that I was in the chess team when I was uh, in high school. Not there's anything wrong with it. There's more into the video games. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. Now, who would bother to write that crap? Rachel Amber is a bitch. That's high school, all right. Jeez. Just 
Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. Oh, no. I guess that was the picture she was going to use to enter. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Uh-oh, pressure's on. Don't scare it away. Is that Warren? You're in the wrong washroom, buddy. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? Whoa. What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. Oh no, me. oh no. You're going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh no. no! What? Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. Could we, so we can control time? These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now. Shit. Can you give me an example of a Man, photographer I cannot believe who perfectly this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Why Arvis? Oh, that is because cool. Of her there you go, Victoria. I can do it anytime I want to. Condition in black and white. Now, can you give I me actually did it. A photographer who perfectly captured I'm a human, the human time machine. Black and white. Anybody? Bueller? What is going on? Nothing has moved at all. Keep it together, Max. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Oh, okay, the journal. Oh, that's cool. We get a chance to read this. I didn't know that this, like, I. <laughs> I'm not joking. I know, like, I know there was like some supernatural elements in this game, but I don't know anything about how this game works. So that's really cool. This does not exist. October seventh. This will be the weirdest journal entry I will ever make. So weird, I don't know how or where to start. But it started with the most vivid dream of my life. I was lost in a storm by the lighthouse till I came to the edge of the cliff. Then I saw a giant tornado headed for Arcadia Bay. It was so real that I could feel the rain stinging my face, and I was scared shitless. Then a boat hit the lighthouse, and I swear I actually felt like I was gonna die. But I woke up in Mr. Jefferson. But I woke up in Mr. Jefferson's class. And I wasn't even sleeping. I almost fell out of my chair. Jefferson called on me, but I, I totally blew the answer. Okay, so can we change this? Of course, Victoria pounced on me and made me look like a bigger idiot. She's so awful. Then I didn't have the guts to turn in a photo for the Everyday Heroes contest. Well, Victoria did her usual suck up to Jefferson. He's so cool and he clearly wants me to succeed. Oh, wow. Okay. 
We can go all the way back. All right, I'm gonna read through this stuff. July 10th, 2013, so this is the beginning. I wonder how far, like, how is this gonna work going forward, rewinding time? Can we like go back to the beginning? I got accepted into Blackwell Academy. If words could dance, this would be a rave. Even though I've never been, even though I've never been to one, okay. But who cares because I got into Blackwell Academy. I didn't think I would be so excited since it's not like I didn't used to live in the same town. But when I saw the text from Blackwell's scholarship office, I could literally feel my pulse speed up. I thought it was going to say, sorry, thanks for playing. It took me a few seconds before I read the whole thing. I guess I wanted to enjoy that last moment of blissful ignorance. And when I saw the first word, congratulations, I think I screamed. My mom cried and my dad laughed. They're so weird, but they're happy and this means extra financial support because they don't have to pay anything to Blackwell. This means new clothes and, if I can work it, a new laptop. Oh, and I have to keep telling myself and cats that I'm going to Blackwell Academy! Hmm. August 18th. So this is it. I'm leaving Seattle to go back to Arcadia Bay. Usually people go to the high school closest to home. I suppose I am too. It's just I haven't lived there for five years. Out of all the best photography programs in the world, I choose to go to the smallest. Back into town, I was excited about leaving. Maybe I wanted to come back all along, just to see if Chloe and I are still even friends. Was that? I, I didn't catch uh, the blue-haired girl's name. I wonder if that's Chloe. Uh, maybe I wanted to come back all along, just to see if Chloe and I are still even friends. The one thing I noted about Chloe is she had blue hair, just like the butterfly's wings were blue. Same color. So, gotta be some kind of, like, symbolic connection there. But I do wish Chloe could have moved with us to Seattle. That city was made for her. I've been to Seattle. Seattle's a really cool town. Really cool town. I enjoyed I enjoyed my time there. Um, that city was made for her. When we would play pirates in our rooms and in the woods. Oh, that's why we saw the skull and crossbones on the map, I guess. It seemed like Seattle was that fabled faraway island of treasure and adventure that we were always seeking with coffee shops. <laughs> with coffee shops, yeah. But Seattle wasn't like a fable. Au contraire. Now, Blackwell Academy seems more exotic to me than any other place in the world. To study photography under Mark Jefferson. <sighs> Insert hearts and flowers. Plus, there would be cool, diverse students from everywhere. She's not so sure if that worked out like she wanted, wanted it to. She doesn't seem like too fond of most of the students. It won't be like my high school now. I never really found a groove with my classmates. Or boys. I'm lucky I have a couple great friends here, but it's time to ship out. There's uh, there's our, our deer there on the right. So maybe Arcadia Bay will actually turn out to be the island of treasure and adventure I've been looking for. August 25th, this is a few days later. Shit is crazy here. I didn't realize how much crap I had to pack until I had to pack all my crap. That's like, every time I move, it's you just have no idea how much stuff you have. You even throw out a bunch of stuff and you always have like double the amount of stuff you thought you had. Mom and dad are getting a little too excited. Uh, I'm clearing out my room. But I caught mom crying when she was packing my shirts. That made me want to cry like a little girl. Never leave Seattle. So instead of packing, I feel like burning all my clothes. Then just raiding a thrift store to build up a new Max wardrobe over my junior year. Not that I even have an old Max wardrobe. Nobody will know me except for Chloe and who knows how different we are now. So I can cut my hair, get a tat and some piercings. Maybe date a cute, for, cute foreign exchange artist from Paris or Rome. I can do anything, unless I get busted. There will be so many super cool chances for my photography to get exposed. Thinking about that is when I get scared, but excited. And then I don't feel like crying at all. I get tingles down my arms, sensing the universe opening up for me. I can't wait to leave. just want things to be different at Blackwell. September 2nd. So it's like, uh, I don't know, a week and a bit later. My first entry from my new dorm room the night before my first day at Blackwell. Whew, haven't had any time to write or even take pictures since I got here. My shit is in boxes all over the room, which is small, but mine. I never want to leave. I can't wait to decorate. I plan a whole wall of photos. Oh, cool. That's the wall that we saw, I, th I guess. I did meet some of my dorm mates, though I suck at remembering names. 
You, you both, Max. Uh, so I won't bother right now, but I think I can already see who's going to be cool to me and who's not. It's a bitch trying to get settled into a new school and a social scene after I finally found good friends in Seattle. But I'm here now, and this is the start of my new life. Sweet dreams. So next day. Already another entry. <laughs> Blackwell sucks ass. <laughs> oh, the dreams shattered. It's sad. I told myself not to whine so soon, but damn. The day started like Christmas morning. I barely had any dreams because I was so pumped to start my first official day of my new life. Like a dork. I couldn't figure out what to wear, so I chose what was on the floor. I'm no good with names and faces right away, but I picked up some names like Kate, Brooke, Taylor, Alyssa. How could I forget Victoria Chase? Rich, stylish, entitled. I could feel instant judgment when she looked at my raggedy ass clothes. As if I'm at the Blackwell to strike fashion poses. Maybe I'm being extra crispy sensitive, but I think Victoria wants uh, life here to be like her own reality show. Ugh. Holy, that's a lot of reading. I think this is this is all worth reading though, because we want to know as much as we can about what Max has been through. Um, uh, so she's talking about Victoria again. So that wasn't fun, along with my general social unease. I thought it would be easier being back. Call the ambulance. I don't want this day to end. All woe is Max. It was incredible to walk across the green campus in the morning mist. I love the stone steps and brick walls of Blackwell. Everything is a picture waiting to be taken. Speaking of, at least one great thing did happen today. Mr. Jefferson's photography class. <sighs> There's more to tell, but journal, forgive me. I'm truly wiped out. So we've got the next day. It's written fast and furious. Um, there's that blue color again on uh, on the bird. Looks like a darker blue though. September 4th. I have an ass load of homework already. So much bullshit. At least gives us noobs a day to acclimate. But to prove I'm not a total loser, I made a new friend in my science class. His name is Warren Graham. And he's a serious geek. Plus he's dark and witty. Comes across as kind of a know-it-all, but it turns out he does kind of know a lot. We talked about photo uh, photographers, and he actually named a few I'd never heard of. We traded numbers, and he'll be a good study partner. Hold on, okay. What what date was that that he just contacted us? October third, and this is wait. How do I get back to the journal? I screw up because of her image if anybody else looked at this there we go what would they think uh september 4th so I, oh I did it again it's not that much later if anybody else looked at this what would they think um we talked about photographers I already read that trade numbers will be a good study partner or a good friend we'll need at least one based on the clique action here I thought being 18 meant I didn't have to deal with this teenage drama anymore. I thought. I always have to deal with teenage drama. Doesn't matter how old you get, there will always be teenage drama everywhere that you go. Uh, I I just, I try to stay out of the drama. Uh, at least I get to research famous photographers for some of my homework. Mr. Jefferson assigned us a ton of reading. This is exactly what I want to study. Jefferson is super cool and super chill. He doesn't try to be too hip, just says what he thinks and expects us to do, expects us to as well. I think he's a genius. Oh my god, I want to marry him. Just joking. This one class is worth all the social dysfunction. Six of nine, it's number 15th. Homework is kicking my ass. I bet the teachers grade harder just to stop you from feeling special. But Victoria Chase and her snob minions still front like their honored guests uh, of Blackwell. The bros here aren't that different. Nathan Prescott is Victoria's male clone with way more money and attitude, if that's possible. His family is the oldest in Arcadia Bay, and I heard stories about them when I was a kid. The Prescotts give a shitload of bank to Blackwell. Uh, okay. So Nathan acts like he literally owns the school, because he basically does. Yesterday during class, he put his feet on the desk, started texting, and the teacher didn't say Jack. I get suspended, but him and Victoria are part of the silly elite Vortex Club. More of that red paint on those birds. Or sorry, red paint, blue paint. Um, 
It puts on par uh, popular parties, and so they get their way. It's good to be king and queen. I don't want to slam everybody. I, I do like Kate Marsh. She's down the hall and in one of my classes. She's so pretty and sweet and friendly. Makes her more beautiful than the biatches here, like Victoria, who think beauty is just your, uh, your face and outfit. See? I'm already playing their drama games. No more! Totally agree. Um, okay, we're almost caught up. September 23rd. Finally had a chance to take some actual shots around campus today. Perfect blue sky day. I always forget how great I feel after I take pictures when I've been slacking off. Speaking of pictures, Mr. Jefferson told us about the National Everyday Heroes photo contest he wants us all to enter. The winner gets a trip to San Francisco and lots of publicity. He wants just one photograph from each student. This is exactly why I wanted to come to Blackwell. And of course, I'm scared shitless to enter. Oh, this is her birthday, September 23rd, I believe. At least I have a couple of weeks before the deadline in October, so I have plenty of time to stress and procrastinate. So we haven't really been here for that long. September 30th. I don't know whether I love it or hate it here. I'm trying to keep up with my science class of all things. Like I give a shit or even understand it. Good thing I know Warren. Too bad I can't clone him to take my place in class. Uh, Miss Grant is much cooler than the class. <laughs> She explains particle physics so even boneheads like me can understand. Ah, oh, those teachers are just precious. Hold on to those teachers, the ones that know their th know their stuff and know how to explain it. Uh, I love how she relates society to science and vice versa. I can tell she's committed and passionate about life, unlike some of us in her class, but I'm trying to engage more, even if it means asking actual questions in class instead of hiding in the back. Just glad I'm not the only social misfit here. Now, how much homework are you avoiding? <laughs> October 1st. October, my favorite month. The best weather of the year. See? I totally agree. I love that, like, it's not, it's cool, but it's not winter cold, and it's not, like, summer warm. It's always a breeze in the air. All the, all the uh, trees or the leaves are turning colors. Uh, it's, it's magical time. Love watching the leaves change color, turning into tiny flames. But it's still too damn hot. Thanks, global warming. And I can't bust out the big coats and sweaters or scary movies yet. Plus, yeah, there's Halloween. Soon. Kate Let Me Borrow the October Country by Ray Bradbury. I haven't read much by him, which caused Warren to almost revoke my geek cred before I held up my copy of Battle Royale. But he nails the autumn atmosphere of small towns. Last time I wore a Halloween costume was with Chloe. I have pictures in one of my old albums. I should find a real Halloween party to crash so I can experience some social mingling. Is that or a Vortex Club Stroke Fest swimming party? Or is that Backstroke Fest? You so punny, Max. At least I'm trying to climb out of my cocoon. I shouldn't expect my life to completely change after a few weeks of Blackwell Academy. So my parents love telling me on a loop, you have all the time in the world. Okay, and then we had this dream. Why would we have it now? Vortex Club. Maybe we feel like we're afraid that we're gonna get dragged, like become like the people in the Vortex Club. I don't know. When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. Still the same stupid picture. So everything seems the same as before. Keep that to yourself. Okay. Oh, and I can go back again. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Damn it, everything is the same. Seriously, though, I could find any one of you in a dark in corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arvis chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? She had a brilliant eye, so she could have taken another approach. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer Robert Frank. Me too, Victoria. He captured the essence of post-war beat America, and there was honesty about the economic conditions of the era, but a beauty in the struggle. You don't have beauty without a beat, which explains why Frank was Kerouac's photographic muse. And both were the great chroniclers of the 1950s. Well, we've all seen that iconic shot of Kerouac on the balcony. And if you haven't, shame, shame. 
capturing the romantic urban solitude of the 20th century poet. You dig? Now, contrast Frank's stark Americana with Salvador Dali's surrealist photographs. Like Cocteau, he was a true Renaissance man. You just and keep going until we take a photo? Are famous early examples of that truly awful word you pesky kids love so much. The selfie. And it's a great tradition, and I wholeheartedly fight for your right to self-expression. Or selfie expression. <laughs> Sorry, I know. So if anybody wants to question the portrait as modern narcissism, they could go back hundreds of years to blame society. Speaking of questions, I bet you thought I'd talk all the way until the bell rang. It's your turn to lecture us. Now, based on the chapters, I have no doubt you all memorized, who can tell me the name of the actual process that led to the birth of the self-portrait? Uh... Anybody? <laughs> this does not bode well. We should know this. We heard it before. I'd take, I'd take the selfie. Just jump right in with an answer. I can't answer. Wowzer, my old broken camera is new again. This was in the chapters you read. I guess I all I can do is take a selfie. So do I just do that? Let's just, let's, I guess we do it. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl selfie. isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital okay, so that wasn't Chloe. For or maybe it was, we just didn't recognize her. Check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? <laughs> just, I have to use the bathroom. Let's go with sick. I'm sorry, I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me Louis after class. And I need time to save that girl. Types? A process that gave portraits a sharp so reflective style like a mirror. Can I go back? Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. No. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind the again and give him the right answer? Find detail in people's faces. I can ride faster, okay. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Uh, I need to use the bathroom. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody it's good has pronunciation. been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process be pissed off. made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't Damn forget right. the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too, and yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, I guess you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Wait, is this stuff here before? Stop wasting time. Go. Okay, let's go. Can I run? Oh, and I can rewind time. Oh man, you can do it anytime you want. Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Uh, Let's try this yeah, option. I'm not sure I have one. 
Given yourself the output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand picks by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Speaking of lives, LB to quickly undo your previous actions using the rewind. Okay. I guess actions are represented by Mark on the gauge. Everybody in class oh, neat. Is turning in a photo, so you see the dilemma. I know, Mr. Jefferson. Because I talked to I him. I just worked so hard in the. Sh Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson. Can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm oh. on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that. Life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Oh yeah. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Okay, let's see if we can make it to this bathroom now. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't okay. tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. I can, I can run faster. Okay, that's good to know. I mean, we kind of we really took our time last time around. Uh, we should be we okay, should be there with plenty of time this time. Every step. I washed my face. I the butterfly, my right? Then the butterfly flew in, and I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing oh, down. Oh, nice. Tell me what to do. Well, I'm so I need sick. a hammer to break it open. Hammer, hammer, hammer. Where, Where is it? Get in hella more it's trouble right there, isn't it? Drugs. Oh, no, 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 no. Would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Oh, there it is. Run away from me, psycho! Holy shit, I can't let this happen. Oh if man, I okay. This time again, I can help her. What? You are going to get in hella more trouble for this get than through this. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh, Not affected by the shit. rewind, you retain facts and inventory oh. objects. No, 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 no! Oh man, that's nuts. So we've got we've got the object. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick. Let's of use it. Trying to control me. No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak. That's so cool. Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. Wow, I just that's saw neat. a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's the principle, right? Principal Wells always looks so distracted. I can never figure out what he's thinking. Does he hate? You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm. I... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be upfront with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. We kind of reverse time. Port Nathan. Uh, jeez.
Uh, I don't want to be like a rat, but I mean, the guy's bringing a gun to school. I think we got to report him. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family right. and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. Should have so taken a picture next? of it. Then, then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you going to bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my. He's not going to do anything. That's it. After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course Classics. this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? Oh, man. I don't know. I'm... I think we're doing the right thing by reporting him, so I'm going to stick with it. And I have a feeling that's not going to bode well for us, but let's see what happens uh, if we do the right thing. Don't wander around here. Get on outside. I will probably have to face the consequences of that. He's gonna see he saw the uh, ripped up photo so he's gonna know that it's us right Rachel Amber she looks so hopeful and pretty I wonder what happened to her hi miss Grant excuse me Max I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition but would you do miss Grant a favor and hear me out yeah, of course. Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. This is, oh, this is a tough one. Could have helped Rachel. David Madsen, what's what's that? David Madsen doesn't need another excuse to harass students oh, okay. here. Max, this isn't about personalities. This is about protecting civil rights and our school's legacy of freedom. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. Oh, we can find out more about Blackwell. That's good. Blackwell is that old? That's incredible. You should learn a little history about your alma mater. You'll find some fascinating facts. There's a lot of power in this region. I think it helps the creative juices flow around here. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? I'm totally going to sign that. I, it's like one of those things where... I think privacy is important. Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. Consequences. So we can go back and change it if we want to. How far back can we go? 
Don't know. I don't know. We're gonna find out, I guess. Oh. Got a message from Warren. Hello? Sorry, running late. Insane day. Meet you in the lot. Looking cool. You'll see. My camera will be ready. See you shortly. Okay, so we need to meet Warren in the lot. Flash drive. Uh... Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Oh, okay. There, I was like, uh, we didn't grab that. How do I get to the dorm? Let's just look around here a bit. Mr. Jefferson has such a gift for different styles. Hey there, so Stella. Talk to them. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? He's aloof. I, uh, I, think, so. I think we think Max thinks he's pretty special. I think so. We're lucky to have such a famous teacher. And I actually love his work. Me too. His New York urban stuff is great, but I'm glad he came back to his Oregon roots. Screw the East Coast elite. It must piss off those pretentious galleries that Mark Jefferson is teaching photography to us Blackwell Hicks. Plus, he is pretty hot for an older guy. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. <laughs> now that you mention it. Now that you mention it, he doesn't respond to Victoria's flirting. That means he has good taste. You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. Well, I heard that from a good source. Uh, okay. Rumors, rumors, rumors. So, you knew Never Rachel? good to spread those. Not really. I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Not my kind of clique. But I heard insane stories about Rachel. Okay, who's she talking to here? Oh, I can't talk to her, I guess. They're really setting him up as a nice guy. He might end up being not so nice. To That's get to know so him. cool that Blackwell is doing a show of Mr. Jefferson's work. Jefferson, that is. That's one of his famous shots. I love how it captures the moment. Daniel. Okay, let's get to know Daniel. What's up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. Could I, um, ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. Uh, yeah, sure. I uh, might regret Daniel. this. Makes me feel like a muse. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking about my real muse. Rachel Amber. Hmm. So, she's the missing girl, right? So we're hearing a lot about her. So what happened to her? There's got to be a story. She just stopped coming to class. Some people said she ran away. Some say she jumped off a cliff. I just hope she's okay. You knew her? No, but once she asked me to draw her portrait. Oh, she was a natural. Hard to avoid her posters all over campus. Kills me to see her sweet face used as a crime photo. Ah, she had a good heart. Okay, why don't you start drawing me? Even though I must be a step down from Rachel. No way, you're a good substitute muse. Oh, that's a good posture. Good. Good. I... Okay. Best portrait ever. I was gonna say, I'm getting kind of creepy vibes from this guy, but... Eh, he seems okay. This actual life consequences! Oh god. Oh god, oh no. What's gonna happen to us? I wonder if Jefferson is related to Rachel's disappearance. 
effective. Okay. Who's this? Oh. Hello. Speaking of surveillance. Evan's portfolio always looks so uber pro. I'd love to see his photos in there. Evan. I don't think we've seen Evan before. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? Um, I have no idea. So let's go Robert Kappa. Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. This quiet child knows things. That's why I'm here. I, I mean, I knew that. Spirit, Max. <laughs> Did you care for a perusal of my portfolio? <laughs> it's not a privilege I grant to many. Kappa. I'd be honored, sir. Okay, let's take a look at this. These photos are great. All Rachel. And Rachel Amber's face is mesmerizing. Uh, she's quite the muse. And landscapes. What happened to her? Hi, Evan. As you can see, Rachel Amber was my favorite model here. She knew exactly what angles worked best with my eye. You were close. Like brother and sister in arms. She understood me, never judged me. I hated her Vortex Club click, but she never acted like she cared. She was in the her Vortex friends Club were too. Her friends. What do you think happened to her? Nothing good, Max. Nothing good. Oh no, I didn't want to. Didn't These wanna... photos are great. Hi, Evan. As you can see, Rachel Amber was my favorite. Okay, so we can ask him uh, the other question. What was she like? She was like Mercurial. You know what that means. Of course I do, you snob. I know, I can be a little diva. What do you think happened to her? Nothing good, Max. Nothing good. Basically the same answer. Okay. Okay, the dorms are that way, but I want to talk to everyone else. Clever. Vortex Club sucks. Very clever. That's Luke Parker. Zachary pushed him into a locker last week. Go bullies. Uh, hello? Max, I don't feel like talking. What's wrong? Nathan Prescott, little rich bitch kid. He thinks he can own people like his parents own Blackwell. Like he owns the Vortex Club. Yes, he's a nasty piece of work. You, you know him. Oh, um, shit. I don't think we want to go around telling people that we busted him. You know what? Let's just, let's try to be honest. Let's just see what happens. I busted him today with a gun. What? Seriously? I saw him wave a gun around today and I went to the principal. We'll see what happens next. You are my new hero. Finally, karma comes to Blackwell. Maybe we can get like people t together to stop him, but God, probably not. Eh? Hey, can we? Is is, is he going to say anything else? I'm glad you told me that, Max. Let's talk later. Cool. That might have been a bad idea too. <laughs> oh, nice guys finish last. Justin. There's Justin and his skater posse. They're so cute doing their tricks. I like the skater boys. Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to thrash? Oh, sure. Yeah, thrash. Oh, yeah? Bring it. What's your first move going to be? Uh, jump? You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple no slide or a tray flip, you should walk on. Oh, screw that. Let's go back. <laughs> Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to Thrash? Yeah, getting that no slide in. I came to no slide, but I'd love to see somebody do a tree flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. Well, no, everything about skateboarding. I just can't skateboard shit. Oh, check it. We're going to destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? 
Uh, I want to see that. I have no idea what a tray flip is, so let's see that. Go for a tree flip. Let's get Trevor all over that action. Yeah. Boom. Oh, right in the nuts. <laughs> Poor Trevor. Photo! <laughs> oh, God, that's so mean. Everyday hero. Right there. I don't know. I feel like I feel like kind of a jerk for doing that. Hey, I'm stoked to see those photos framed and shit. You don't really escape Betty though. Escape Betty. I don't know what that is. I used to be, but I'm into my camera now. I can tell. We need more girls out here. Rachel Amber and her punk friend used to skate with us. Man, everyone knows Rachel was like friends with everyone and doing all things with all people. You knew Rachel? She used to chill with us sometimes. But one day she just vanished. I hope she's living the dream somewhere. If anybody hurt her, we'll get a skate posse and take them out with our boards. A friend. Hmm. Who was Rachel's punk friend? I can't remember her name. She was hot. Tats, blue hair, hardcore. She stopped hanging out with us after Rachel disappeared. <laughs> Ran away. So that's who we saw in the uh, washroom. That's who was shot, right? You ever hang out with Victoria? Fuck that. I'd rather rollerblade than hang out with snobs like her. Let's chill later, Justin. Anytime you want to take some action shots, we're here for you, Max. Okay, who else is here? Brooke. What's she doing? Playing some games? Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? Oh, she's flying the drone. Cool. I'd love to. I love planes and balloons and... This is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? A weapon, right? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny, Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Okay. I'm just gonna go through her bag. I'm almost sure Warren has the same bag. It looks a bit nerdy though. What a complicated name for such a tiny drone. The B-400. Sorry, Max. I have to focus on making sure this drone doesn't crash. Okay, so I guess we go... That was a choice whether or not to search her bag. I kind of don't really want to just search her bag. It doesn't look like a very cool thing to do, so I'm fine with reversing that choice. Eden. There's Hayden in his Vortex Club harem. He sure is living the dream. Wasn't he one of the better, like one of the cooler Vortex Club kids? Hey, Hayden. There she is, the retro selfie master. That's me, all right. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell, especially when one represents the Vortex Club. Not to boast. What the hell is the Vortex Club anyway? It seems so elitist. Only if you're not cool enough to get in. And it doesn't hurt your resume. If you say so. I do. But you should actually come hang with us one night. Then you wouldn't be so inclined to gossip. Oh, man. I don't know if that's a good idea. But let's see where this takes us. You mean hang with a Vortex Club? That sounds like a setup to a horrible prank. Chillax, paranoia girl. We're not that desperate for fun. We know how to do that on our own. It seems weird to think about partying with all those Rachel Amber posters up. You're high. Rachel used to hang out with us too. She was a blast. Smart, not bitchy like, you know. Um. Nathan? <laughs> do you really want Nathan Prescott to represent? Oh, please. Nathan is like everybody's voodoo doll. Kill the rich kid. He's all right and a fun guy to hang with. Fuck the haters. He just shot someone. <laughs> yeah. 
He seems genuinely unstable to me. Nate has his extreme moments, but... No kidding! Don't we all? I don't know yet, Hayden. Okay, let's find out about Rachel, I guess. So, you knew Rachel Amber? I knew she liked to party. <laughs> Fun to be around. Oh, yeah, and she was hot. Oh, there's more, okay. Um... Rachel was actually a member of the Vortex Club? No. Rachel was like her own club. She was actually too cool for us. And I'll deny I ever said that. Kind of like feels like like a Laura Palmer type figure if you guys have seen Twin Peaks. Just like seems to be like a power to herself. Did Victoria like Rachel? She seems like the jealous type. Don't think you know Victoria so well. She respected Rachel. Even if she didn't act like it. What do you think happened to her? Um, uh, whatever happens to people who disappear without a trace. I'm more confused than before. It's such a mystery. Let's talk later, Hayden. That it is, Max. Now, I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. Dana? Who is Dana? Huh, we haven't... I don't know who... Who's Dana? Is that Dana? Stella. Is there more people? Some people that we haven't met yet, but there's no Dana. Hmm. So what does sitting at the fountain do? This day has been so insane. Everything is happening too fast. And none of it makes any sense. These visions, this power. I keep expecting to wake up one more time. But if this is a dream, then I'm not asleep. Which means somehow I did rewind time. So there has to be a reason. And I have to find out why. So is this real? Like, do we really have this power or is it a dream? Kind of like, it started on something that was like a dream, right? That must have been the end too, that we saw there. I'm guessing that's like the end of the game. I guess we get up now. Dorms, um, athletic fields that way, and then the main building's back. What have we? What else can we do out here? There's some posters over here. The swimming pool. They sure get a lot of mileage out of otter power. Flit. I'm sure this poster has stopped millions of bullies. Bully much. No bully thinks they're a bully. So think about that before you bully. Yeah, right. They're thinking about it. They're not a bully. <laughs> like, yeah, too much information. Uh, be here now. What? Multitasking keeps you busy, but not alive. Social media is no replacement for reality. The Buddhist center. Okay. Bible study. We've read that before. Pulley for you, uh, dot or yeah. Oh, that's some place that we can go. Okay, we're being bullied. Okay, that's good. That's good. I was uh, pretty lucky. Lauren's waiting for me and his flash drive in the parking lot. So okay, let's go I to the dorm. Better get back to my dorm. I wasn't really, I wasn't really bullied too much when I was a kid, but I was lucky. I think bullying's a huge problem, especially since like anyone can basically like cyber bully anyone now like that that wasn't so much a bit as big an issue when I was in high school I'm a bit older but still still happened and it's sad I think we've spoken to everyone so let's go to the dorm 
I need to go there and grab Warren's flash drive. I think I think I talked to everyone. Come on, Logan, bring it, bro. It's a janitor again. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. And some more people to talk to. Oh, Alyssa. Dude. I feel like Alyssa and I should be better friends. Oh. Hi, Max. What are you reading? Yeah. Love today or die forever. Don't even say anything. It's a bestseller. What to say? Good point. Now, if you'll excuse me. Sounds like a Bond movie, actually. Sorry. I really have to find out what happens. Okay, I'm gonna go back. Ask her the other question. Oh. Hi, Max. How are you doing? Fantastic. I'm by myself for eating chiclet. Pretty soon I'll be bonding with Victoria at the Vortex Club. I think you're better off reading chiclet. Good point. Now, if you'll excuse me. I was like, wait, that's not the title she gave before, and then I realized that's a type of literature. <laughs> uh, Victoria. Okay. Maybe, you know, maybe we should give her a chance. Let's let's talk to her. Oh, look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. Jeez. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> wow, she's yeah. mean. Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, wait. No. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now. Why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes. Fuck Victoria. your selfie. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. <laughs> wow. Wait, is that? Yes, that's what I thought it was. Okay, now where exactly is the sprinkler valve? Sprink. Well, we just gotta hit her with the sprinkler. There goes Samuel Da Vinci to paint the window. <sighs> this guy, I think this guy's gonna play an important part later on. Talk to any of these guys? Awesome. Oh. Uh oh, something bad might happen here. Wait, we can't talk to her? That was, sorry, what's her name again? Kate. Oh, David, there's an entry for David. Uh, whoa, I swear that security guard is the biggest ass here. And that's saying a lot. He always treats everybody like they've committed a crime or they're about to commit one. He grilled me in the hall today, and I thought he was going to arrest me. I don't know much about him, but I heard he was kicked out of the army or something. Wait, I don't remember. I don't remember that. So, of course, he would end up at Blackwell Academy in charge of security. Aren't you supposed to feel, I don't know, secure on campus? When did he grill us? Bro dude swaggers everywhere with that badge and gun like he's looking to tase somebody. He would make a good photo portrait of authority, though. Who does a guy like that marry? I feel sorry for his family. It'd be like living in a barracks. Ugh. Just another person I have to avoid at Blackwell. Collect them all. Nathan, I'm sorry about Nathan. Just when I thought Victoria Chase would be the worst of my social problems, now I have to deal with Nathan Prescott. But I guess he was the one who triggered my crazy rewind power by shooting that girl in the bathroom. He's 19 and already a scary fucking prick. 
Guess I have a little advantage on Nathan by being able to manipulate him. But if he shoots me, I may not be able to reverse anything. Oh, that's a good point. I have to be careful around him, especially since he's obviously got friends at high places. Because his family's last name is practically branded on every building here at Blackwell. It's money against mine. I think we have the stronger power. On one hand, I do kind of feel bad for Nathan because he doesn't seem to be in control. Like he's doped up over or over medicated. On the other, he's an asshole who nobody has called out. He almost killed, slash did kill, a girl on campus. Should I go straight to the police? This girl is so mysterious. What do I say about my rewind power? Like I'd say anything. I just have to watch my own back from now on. Oh, school days. Okay, what about the principal? Can't figure out where Principal Wells is coming from. For some reason, he seems to be suspicious of me at all times. Who knew I was that much trouble? He wanted to know why I was zoning out in the halls. I started like a fool. He has so much power over my scholarship. I get uber nervous around him. I've seen him laughing with other teachers and students, so I know he must have a problem with me. He also seems a little stressed out. I would be too if I had to oversee Blackwell and all its drama. I thought I smelled alcohol on his breath, but that could have been his cologne, right? But I remember my first meeting at his office and he was so nice and made me feel like I was becoming part of a special world. Huh. He said he hoped I would become a great photographer and someday return the favor to Blackwell. Thought that was a bit of, a, of wishful thinking, but it made me feel good. Just need to lay, around, uh, lay low around him until I can somehow gain his trust. Bro. Oh, okay. What's going on here? The water pump. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. How do we... Think, Max. Rewind and find something. How do I go faster? Oh, there we go. Something with that paint. Oh, we can use it now. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you Aww. know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't Poor even baby. chill on the steps. Awesome. Can I talk to her now? Seems like she needs someone to talk to. Can I, can I go by now? Okay, she can't stand on the steps, but she's still not letting us by, it looks she like. She looks like a pissed off wet cat, and she's still stylish. Something to do with the paint? Do you understand English? Get lost. Wait, what was that? None shall pass. Capiche? There's only one way around this. Just rewinding back to the last decision point. Yeah. Something to do with the paint. See what happens here. Awesome. Tamper. Awesome. Oh, okay, I see. Let's see if this works. We tampered with the paint thing. And we get her to move, and she's probably gonna get hit what with that paint. 
Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this? Such a cool mechanic. That's you really look clever. Great. I can't even chill on the steps. It also kind of fixes the problem with games like this, where um, okay. you're not really sure what to do, and you get stuck, but you can always like rewind and do it again. No way. Nice. No fucking way. <laughs> oh, Samuel, sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair. Nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I drive. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. I talked to her yet? Okay, I can now. There's Kate, looking sadder than usual. Hi, Kate. Nice. Hey, Max. Maybe How we can like try to be today? a bit brighter. I don't remember. I guess I don't care about much of anything today. Is there nice, anything... Max, I'd like to be alone, if you don't mind. I'm sorry. Mm, let's go back. Hi, Kate. Hey, Max. I I'm sure she's just gonna say the same thing, but let's try. You look down. You okay? I'm kind of over humanity today. Sorry to be a drama queen. Is there anything... Max, I'd like to be alone, if you don't mind. I'm sorry. What the hell? What happened to her? We can talk to football, Zachary. Max. Big football. Step away. That's it. Football, Max. Big football. Step away. Yeah, yeah. I see the football. I think I can handle it. Logan. No, bro. You can't take a picture. You gotta wait till Friday's game. Not your bro, pal. Sorry. I really have to find out what happens. Got anything to say for yourself now? Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? You know what? I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna comfort her. You gotta, gotta try to show compassion so that maybe she'll change her mind about people. I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there'll be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. Wow. I hope she those actually... sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. People that are that act like this um, usually have. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck your selfie. Usually they have like that personal was issues. Me, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know. I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Usually they have Bye personal well. issues that they're dealing with that um, they're just like acting out because. Victoria of... probably played me. I should have played her. Better get to my room before I find Warren. I think we did the right thing. Kind of kind of connected with her a bit. What's this? Room 217. No way in hell am I ever going in here. <laughs> Randrum. Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. Oh well. Welcome to Black Hill. Um, so... 217, that was Stella's. We got Taylor, Juliet, Kate, Victoria, Brooke, and then Max. Ours is 219. Is this a Vortex Club or a Victoria Club initiation? Truly pathetic. It's on the board here. Anything? HIV and AIDS aren't just initials on a poster. These are serious life-threatening diseases. And nobody is immune from exposure. Get the facts now. Reward. Uh, September 16th. Backpack. Okay, I think we saw that before. Uh, to the bitch that stole my friend, you new fast. New fa New face. New fast. 
New fas. Krim. That was expensive shit, and I need it for my acne. I know exactly how it exfoliates, and I'll be watching your skin the second it clears up. Whoops. Another map. Blackwell isn't that big, but it sure feels like a labyrinth. Welcome Wait. to Black Hill. I'm trying to figure out. 17's right here, yeah. I'd love to make a photo collage of every person who've posted these. Don't be afraid. Be ready. Young Guns training. Even under 21, you can still learn how to operate firearms from AK to uh, Zodovka. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Young Guns uses fun, safe, perfect plastic replicas. Stop by your bunker for a test demo. But once again, Canada, don't. Don't really relate to this. We don't have that many guns here. People here are merciless. Safe, not sorry. No matter how much you like each other, one slip, one slip up can change your life. You have a choice. There's nothing wrong with waiting. Graffiti, see Kate's video for proof. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, we all can. Please respect your floor and neighbors. Be quiet in the halls for 10 p.m. Thank you for listening. Kate is right. Constantly being pestered. Dane is still a cheerleader at heart. So tell us a lot about the, the Juliet, person. Juliet, extreme reporter. Read this week's edition of the Blackwell Totem. Seriously, who cares? More posters. Rachel again. Uh, be alert on campus. Observe the following tips for your safety. Always be aware of your location. Always let a friend know where you or where you're going, where you are or where you're going. Always report any incident immediately to the campus authorities. Campus alert app. Could be fun. Glad I'm not the only lonely nerd around here. Got a bike for sale and then a geek girls book club. Looking for like-minded souls to read and discuss authors. Ursula K. Le Guin, Robin Hobb, Neil Gaiman, Piers Anthony. Terry Brooks, David Calvo, Marion Zimmer Bradley, and the usual flying dragon shit. No boy wizards or sad vampire fiction allowed. No boys, period. Got the we got the uh bike. Wait, what's the one of the Thanks for the warning. Oh, right. Vortex Club. The showers looks like they're being cleaned or something. Oh, what's this? Nice atmospheric shot. Needs dusting. Kind of reminds me of uh, of her shirt. Toilet paper. Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. They live. Don't be a zombie. Social media has a time and place. Don't let life flash you by. I, f I find myself often addicted to social media. Okay, this is just mean and stupid. Oh, maybe we can change this? Nice. That actually will have consequences? 222, uh, who is that again? Is that Kate? Welcome to Black Hill. Yeah, it was Kate. Oh, Victoria, give me a fucking break. <laughs> Victoria. Yeah, seriously, like she's quoting Gandhi. Warren should be all over Brooke. They're perfect for each other. Brooke's room, and this is our room. Let's go in. We have nothing on the slate. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. We're a blank slate. Aw. Guitar player. Home sweet home. My favorite cocoon. 
Hard to believe I'm 18. Do I look any older? Just more stressed. Got a message from mom. Let's see. Oh, we got our third picture too. I wonder if I missed one. Squirrel. I did notice the squirrel. I'm not going to be too like obsessed with finding them, the photos. If I find them, I find them. Max, your principal sent me an email saying that you told some tall tales about a Blackwell honor student. Is this true? Principal, principal said this was a serious false charge. And he's worried you're telling stories. Call me ASAP so we can talk about this. <sighs> that was the wrong thing to do. I mean, the wrong thing in terms of the game, probably, but the right thing overall. Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. <laughs> Let's play some music. Cartier Bresson, so I know Hamilton, the greatest. Is this where, where's that USB stick? <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. So that's Chloe. Finally get a chance to see her. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. Who's that? Here's my go-to source for instant photo inspiration. Philip Lorca de Korsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. Man, I don't recognize I any of these Cameron's names. Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. Hey, Dolly, obviously. He could truly freeze time. There's my poor laptop begging me to check in. Sticky note? Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Um, hey girl, I borrowed your drive so I can watch some flicks while I study. If you need it back, just track me down in my room. Great. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Daniel has so much talent. I hope nobody hates on it just because it's me. Quick sketch of my new muse. Nice. I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. Camera porn. Welcome to Camera Porn, your one-stop web resource for almost every camera ever produced, domestic or international. Lauren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Max, thanks for your email and copy of Jefferson's class notes. Now I shall never stop sending you messages of gratitude. I also have a rather eclectic collection of TV, cult, classic, and fucked up films on a fat flash drive. If you ever want to check them out, thanks again for the help. I'm a scientist more than an artist. Now, could you quickly explain to me how a camera works? Be seeing you, Warren G. Isn't that like a rapper too, Warren G? Old school rapper? There's another, what's that? Me, Ed, thank you for ordering something. Guess I can't read that. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HD TV. Oh, let's water the plant. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. Oh, what consequences is that gonna have? If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. 
Wait, I'm not on. looking through a viewfinder. Oh. I'm looking through a window. That the leaf kind of oh, went up as he threw the football, so it looked like the football just like flew straight up. That was thought that was weird. I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. Uh, instant instant film? film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. But I can't help it. I'm analog, not digital. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of the October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. Guitar. Oh, nice. Let's play. See if she's got any chops. Keep that bag on, though, of course. I wonder if we uh, continue to like improve. Which is pretty good, as far as I can tell. Not that I know anything about playing the guitar. The Winger and the Cow. Strange poster. I don't know if that's a thing. Cookies. Nice. I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday and slipped in a $200 gift certificate. She sure knows how to make a sad birthday happy. Hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. Oh, nice. Happy birthday, Maxine. We'll never forget the day you were born and your first smile. It was love at first sight. It's your special day. We miss you, but we're so proud that you're following your dreams. We love you, your mother and father. It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are given. I like my wardrobe. Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? Okay. Oh. Do Warren even note? left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. To Max or whom it may concern, the cinematic contents of this flash drive are of a graphic, life-altering, controversial nature. This collection has been downloaded with the greatest care and for the most discriminating viewer. I congratulate you on your taste and eagerly await your in-depth reviews of Cannibal Holocaust and Ultra Vixens. Peace, Warren G. Lie down. Take a little nap, I guess. Okay, enough, enough lollygagging about. Where are we going again? We're going to. Uh, Looks like Dana left me a little. Dana's room. Though. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. We're on quite the adventure. Uh oh, something bad's gonna happen. Now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Oh, Juliet, this is so hey, Juliet. Weird. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. You are ridiculous. She's your friend. Friends don't sex with their best friend's boyfriend. No, probably not. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even you asking me? You never you. talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Oh, God. I don't know. Ah, uh, shoot. I'm gonna guess... <sighs> I'm gonna guess it ends with O-N. S-O-N. I think it ends with S-O-N, but, you know, that's just intuition. I mean, me great memory, Patson. Juliet Pats... Juliet Patson. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Hey, look, I got this thing that I can do where I can rewind time 
And get it right. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. <laughs> I was going to say, Juliet wants it to be nice. <laughs> you are ridiculous. I'm down for that. Juliet Watson, you be nice. Just get ahead of it. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, of course I do. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. Hmm. Would Dana do that? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Yeah, believe Victoria. Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. Oh, great. So now we're going to go into Victoria's room? Where was... That was that was over here, right? She's going to walk in? This is not good. She's going to stoop around in her room? Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. Dear Miss, Miss Chase, thank you for your submission to the Croft Gallery. Unfortunately, your work is not compatible with our mission statement. We appreciate your effort and wish you success in future endeavors. Is that why she's acting out? Because she's gotten rejected? Could be. Mess up. I'm not going to mess Speaking up. Speaking of selfies. Whoa, I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the chase space. Color me impressed. She's actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. See? I hate you, Victoria. We got something in common with her. No, officer, I'm not snooping. Just admiring Victoria's cutting edge tech. Yeah, let's see if we can find the evidence here. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Ooh. Maybe I will join her posse. 3,600 bucks? I'd love a 3D printer. That'd be so much fun to play with. They should uh -oh. call this series aloof, cold and soulless, kind of like Victoria. I just heard door, okay, a door I opening, I think. expensive jewelry, I would wear this for sure. Yes, I get it. Enter the Vortex Club. No. International photographer Mark Jefferson, local ex exhibition November 5th to December 1st, 2009. Bean Hip Cafe. We're going to sad for a dollar off. It's an old ad, I guess. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? How insecure. Wow. X's over the eyes, too. Implying that she's dead, I guess. Victoria is a real Jefferson groupie. I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. Ah, uh, the Blackwell Totem, the spirit of news since 1898. Is the Vortex Club a cult? By Juliet Watson. One of Blackwell Academy's most durable and influential social groups, the Vortex Club, started in the neon 1980s as a new way of rebellion against the yuppie forces of the Reagan era. Imagine a time when computer nerds were dumped into garbage cans and blue hair was a cause for expulsion and even violence. Male students who wore earrings were bullied and beaten. Now every football player has two or three exotic piercings. So the Vortex Club was originally a haven from the peer pressure that every generation experiences. How ironic then that the revolutionary roots of social misfits has become what some students claim is an elitist cult. Or is this just envy at one of Blackwell's most successful organizations? We tried to interview Vortex Club member Victoria Chase, but she refused to comment and even tried to stop the story from publication. Sounds like she was trying to get at the truth, but Victoria wasn't uh, playing ball. That is a tasty plasma. Maybe I could sneak in and watch Final Fantasy Spirits Within. I don't care what anybody says. That's one of the best sci-fi films ever made. Yeah, I don't think so, Max. Gonna have to disagree with you on that one. Those boots are made for walking runways. 
Dior, Givenchy. You could pay for my tuition with that wardrobe. Can we take another selfie? Oh, I don't. Do we have our camera with us? I guess we always have it with us. Okay, let's uh, let's see. The evidence must be here. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo, and for this nice shot. Friends, 857 subscribers, 1,126. Boom. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Taylor, so sad to inform you that I totally punked Juliet and Dana just now. All I had to do was mention to Juliet that I saw a nasty sext from Dana on Zach's phone. Dumbass. With two Zs. Believe me, and so I expected there to be a dorm rampage soon. Juliet... Uh, deserves this for slutting Zach away from me. As for Dana, who gives a shit? Get out your popcorn. How do I print it? Ah. Let's grab that and get the hell out of here. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. We're gonna have to rewind time because we're gonna get caught. Nope. Nice. Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No. But I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. See what she has to say. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Juliet gets her rage on. Or is not nice. Uh, I don't know. I guess we'll we'll hate on Victoria. Victoria is not nice. I don't get it. She has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it, and Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though, Warren obviously likes hanging with you. What do you mean? He's a good guy. A geek like me. You saw the files in his flash drive. Tons of crazy shit. Films I've never even heard of. And in a special folder called Max. Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Are you blushing? <laughs> Go ahead and grab the flash drive whenever. He's, he's crushing on us, I guess. We're just gonna look through her stuff now. It would be a cool sticker without the words. Oh. This is both sad and pathetic. Dana, I suck at writing, but I, I thought I should write this so you might not hate my dumbass forever. I know I act like a tough jock around everybody, but I never had to act around you. Not the kind of man you deserve. You saw how I pushed out. If you need any money, let me know. Kiss Huggle Logan. Wow. Let's just, you know, use her computer. Of course a popular <laughs> cheerleader like Dana would have a million friends. It's so fascinating to get a peek into Dana's social media world. And yes, Max, so terribly wrong. She's, she's sitting right there. 1,083 friends, 2,554 subscribers. Juliet. Hey, girl, thanks for the party favors. Trevor, what up, Dana? Justin couch locked with Super Mario. You want to come over? We can blaze and play or go for a walk. Let me know. I'll be here. Still here? Hello? Let's grab that flash drive. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Wait, we can put the flash drive in? I better make sure everything is still in there. 
I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect. Weird science homework. Warren G's incredible film library. Greatest TV shows ever. Muzak. Randoms. Not downloaded. The Party Buster. Unholy Obscenities. And Max. Wonder what's in the Max folder. Ugh. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. Go Bigfoots. Wait. Would it be Bigfoots or Big Feet? I guess it's like multiple Bigfoot. So it's Bigfoots. It's not multiple large feet. I'm just going to say Big Feets from now on. I think. I guess that's it. Let's talk to Dana again. Now I feel just too wiped to out say. to leave. Like, why are you looking at my computer? Okay, so we have the drive. Do we... Oh, I can draw. Nice. Let's draw something. Obvious, but true. I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party. Uh, I guess I can't folder. check the max folder. I thought Not maybe that we I could. I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect. Okay. I guess we go now. Wait, hold on a second. Oh. Forget it. Um, where do we go next? We have to give this to Warren, right? We just leave? Oh. The more I text, the longer I take. Where was he? Um. Running late in the same day. Uh, in, oh, he's at the lot. Okay. Camera will be ready. See you shortly. I hope so. Don't mind uh, waiting out here forever. I love this parking lot. I can count all the cars. On my way. Bye. Okay, we're going to the lot. She's gone now. Wasn't there something in here? Fuck this shit. Oh. Damn. I better rewind. Maybe go talk to him? Get oh, lost, it's Zach. Hipster. I'm not to fuck this shit. Ow. Tell Alyssa to move? Alyssa, oh, move your okay. head. If you insist, Max. Oops. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Consequences. Message from Victoria. By the way, thanks, but we're not friends. Wow. Max, that was awesome. Thank you. That was close. Jock assholes. If I was a member of the Vortex Club, they'd never pull that. Would you want to be a member? You're smart. We should hang out more. Now I have to finish this stupid book. Okay, I just want to check out this um, spin over here. I could have sworn there was something in there. Glad to see our campus is eco-friendly. Yeah, I guess not. All right, Zach. What's your what's your problem, buddy? Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. I could almost feel sorry for him if he wasn't such a serious dick. Poor Juliet. That's Juliet's boyfriend, right? Okay. 
God, it's gonna be hard to keep track of the relationships. The Prescott dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? All right, let's, let's, we've been lollygagging too much. Let's, let's go to the parking lot here. Uh-oh. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Oh, we're gonna intervene. Absolutely. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Good, remember it. Or maybe not good. Oh, God, what's going to happen? Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. Maybe it she'll open up now a, a bit. Lot. Anytime, Kate. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Maybe I should rewind and mind my own business? No, no, no. We're rolling. We're rolling with it. We're rolling with it. I'm trying to do the right thing. Just taking a picture is... No, I'd say it's not the right thing. We're probably going to pay. We're making lots of enemies. Lots of powerful enemies. But we're making friends with the little people. It's Warren, I guess. I'm glad oh, I stepped here. in that time. Can't stand to see people it. being bullied. How could Zach and Victoria do that to me? Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Oh, okay. So, Victoria and Zach plotted that sex thing thing? Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Okay, I get now it. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexted Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. Okay, let's go talk to Warren. Wait, what's this? I wonder how long before Samuel has to repaint that. Yo, Max, check it out. Hey, nice ride. Look at Warren in his Wayback Machine. He's a brave man. He is a brave man. Is there anything else uh, before I go talk to him? Leaflet? A new surveillance system. That's how it starts. Uh, over the past few months, there have been set, uh, multiple break-ins of faculty and student vehicles in the Blackwell parking lot. A new surveillance system is being installed. But you should make sure your vehicle is always secure and locked. Hmm. Is that what starts? Oh. That dog looks peaceful asleep, but if I get too close, Cujo. I thought maybe we could take a photo. It's not. What is this truck? Now this really pisses me off. So entitled. Oh man. Sorry, that's... handicapped folks. My truck needs these two spots more than you do bastard that's that's horrible what is this damn oh. somebody is seriously devoted to putting up these posters maybe a relation who toilet papers a bike it's pretty that's pretty lame Good thing I don't have a car yet. Okay. Is this supposed to say choke? <laughs> Jeez. That's bad. Illuminati confirmed. Okay, I think that's I think that's it. Aside from the posters. Let's go, go talk to here. Warren. Please. And there's
There's Warren. Did he actually buy a used car? Is that say THX for life? What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. Goes to the hug. Oh, no denied. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. I don't want to talk. Oh, let's go, really. Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. By the way, I saw Daniel's sketch of you online. Not bad, but I could do a much better job. Oh, okay. You can draw? I thought you were blinded by science, not art. Art is science. Music is math, etc., etc. I'd put Stephen Hawking against Picasso any day. Hardcore. So you must use a computer to draw. Of course. I'd love to tweak one of your selfies with some cool graphics. That might not suck. I'll let you know. So did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Movie booty. Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone. Which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. Ha ha. <laughs> Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Uh, okay. I don't know if, like, we're lying if we say seen it. Seen it? I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires, too? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. What? Faster pussycat kill kill. Uh, let's go for that. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I think we should talk to him about it. He's a science guy. I need to talk to somebody just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Uh -oh. Don't insult me. Max. Go can we on. trust Warren? I had this I don't know incredibly if we can. bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal now. <laughs> Answer me, bitch. Yeah, this is how you deal with bullies. I told Just him the truth. Them. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what? Give you a stern lecture? Nobody. Nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. This guy's unstable. Do not analyze me. I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Uh, oh God. Okay, I'm going all the way. I could call the police. Do it. The Prescotts own the pigs here. Get away from her, dude. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, leave him alone. Nobody tells me what to do. Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore leave in the bathroom. <gasps> Twin Peaks. Max? Chloe? No way. It is Chloe. You again. Go, go, I got this. Get in, Max. Get your punk asses out of there now. Don't even try to run. Nobody. Nobody. Warren, no. We just left Warren there. Oh, there's a security guy. Okay, good. Man, 
Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Isn't she the one that got shot, though? I'm confused. I know she had blue hair, too. I'm pretty sure it's her. Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. For You're not sure. the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? Uh, I got the impression that we liked it. No, it felt like a real city for artists. Big and bright. Great for taking pictures. Yeah, must be hard coming back to a hick town like Arcadia again. Not after seeing you. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Only for Mark Jefferson. I don't know. I don't feel like we're obsessed with him. I'm going to go with, of course. Of course. It's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. Um... I think we should apologize. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. We're gonna catch I just touch wanted also. to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. haven't heard that one in a while not everything changes except my camera has officially taken a shit my step douche has a boatload of tools maybe you can fix it at my place i need very specific tiny tools bird alert my stepdad has a fully stocked garage and he actually is a tiny tool welcome home max Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home shit home. Well, it's good to reconnect with Chloe. She seems like really upbeat. <laughs> Does seem like a kindred spirit though, at least. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step Fuhrer makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. Getting high. Oregon This Coast. postcard is from Rachel Ember. Oh. Miss you. Wish you were here, Rach. Chloe Price, 44 Cedar Avenue, Arcadia Bay. Huh. Wait, wait, wait. This postcard is from Rachel Ember. What's the date? No date. Man, I remember this furniture. We spent all day painting it blue. 
Chloe loved that blue. Where's the music? Where's the music? Over here. The hi-fi. It won't play without any power. How do I... Oh, there. Houston, we have the power. But we need to find a disc to play. Oh, she was the one looking for it. So it was Chloe who printed all those flyers. Right, 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 right. Who'd have thought oh. Chloe wouldn't pay her parking tickets? She does love trouble. Oregon State Police uh, written warning Arcadia Bay traffic ticket, parking infraction. All kinds of parking infractions. Fuck off. <laughs> Just a fuck off note in there also. Okay, where's the... Uh... Okay, Chloe. A metal box under the bed equals secret. Are we just gonna... Open that in front of her? Need a, we need a disc here. We need a disc here. I want some music. We had such a blast drawing these together. Oh, that's cool. She's a killer. Oh, there's something on the other side. Or another drawing. We had such a blast drawing these together. Freedom Eagle, Max and Chloe, 2007. And it reeks like dirty laundry. Gross. It's in the box. <gasps> Dude, you broke my glass snow dough. Thanks. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Oh, this is a flashback to youth. Our super secret closet lair. Chloe totally changed her style. I barely recognized her. Chloe was always taller than me. We made her dad keep track of her height. What does that say? Dad is... Dad is gone? Nothing but junk in this suitcase. I guess her parents got a divorce. Where's the tunes? She looks super happy. She looks super sad. She looks super stoned. <laughs> oh, maybe here? Oh, those are pictures. Look at that. Chloe and her dad were so close. Maybe he passed, that's possible too. I'm not into them, too pretentious. Hey, that TV used to be in the living room. No plasmas here. Okay, I don't see any music. Let's just check this. I assume Chloe's gonna take exception. <laughs> Oh no, okay, there's the CD. Is that a picture of Rachel too? Hey, give me that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. Now, what, I guess they're a couple? That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Uh, we weren't even there for Rachel her. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no <sighs> idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. So, Rachel took my place. I'm glad she was there for you. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. 
Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. What about your mom? What did Joyce think about all this? She couldn't wait to get rehitched. Step dick is one reason I wanted to bail. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. What about her parents? Are they looking for her? They're in denial. Max, I know she's missing. I assume you know more than that. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. Hmm. And poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? All right, let's see what we have. See what see what uh, Chloe's into. Play some hard stuff. Maybe not. Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. Let's look at the... Uh... Okay, Chloe, a metal box under the bed equals secret. Oh, I thought I could look at some of that stuff. Hard to believe Chloe was my BFF just five years ago. No, Max, this isn't a tool shed. Like I said, check the garage. All right, let's let's go fix the camera. You can't go home again, said Thomas Wolf. But here I am. That must be so weird, like reconnecting with someone, like your best friend after five years. So much changes. Whoa, it's dark. I cannot see anything. This is definitely Joyce's makeup. Chloe wouldn't use animal products. I wonder if Chloe is taking those pills. I hope she's okay. Uh, flexatine tablets? Could be Joyce, too. I like Chloe's new hair color. She's the opposite of shy. Of me. Hair tie, thanks. I wanted to know which, what was written on there. It looked like there was something like written in marker. Oh. <laughs> I thought this was a different room. Just go. Let's go snooping, you know? It's kind of what we do. This must be oh. Chloe's parents' room. Man, I am nosy today. What? Oh shit! Poor thing. I bet I could do something to save it. Oh, oh yeah, we're gonna save that. For sure. Gotta save the bird. I actually have consequences. I'm curious. I'm so curious to find out what the consequences of that will be. Act, react, or die. A 21st century survival guide. Whoa. Apocalypse self-help. Dog tags. Sweet. David Matson. Must be, uh, stepfather. Okay, I just want to check something. Are we... We're still in episode one. Wow, that's long. I, I'm planning on just playing the whole first episode, I think, for this recording and maybe doing one episode per recording. So they're going to be long, guys. Oh, my. 
Chloe made this for Joyce on Mother's Day years ago. I see why she would keep it. Joyce still works at the diner. And Chloe's new dad is a security oh, guard. Oh, wait. Uh-oh. Wait, 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 wait. What was the name again? Dog tags. Sweet. David Matson. Is that the... Did that David? Oh, shit. Rachel. Where is Rachel Amber? Even though Blackwell Academy feels so remote and tranquil, you still get sad reminders of reality. Like missing person posters. Literally wallpapered all over campus. I already know her name through osmosis. I guess she was a popular student here and vanished six months ago. Rachel has a great picture on her missing person poster. She looks posed and pretty, like a model. So that was Chloe that made the poster. Of course, I, I wonder who took the photo. Did she run away from home? I'd like to hope so, for her sake. It's so depressing, and I feel awful, awful for her parents. What a shitty thing to do to go through. <sighs> no matter how much Blackwell seems like a secret bubble of knowledge, can't escape the real world. Warren. Um, I knew if I gave Warren my phone, he would blow it up for science. He wants his flash drive back after letting me borrow it for less than a week. He told me to watch everything because he has tons of cool TV shows and films on there. Only one week, though? Thank God it wasn't porn. And I'm thankful for Warren. He's like a real friend, and we share a lot of the same interests. He loves science, but he really understands art. He appreciates great photography. Even though he says he loves my pictures... I can tell I can't tell if he's just being nice. Warren is a geek, but he definitely lets you know where he stands. I don't think he would ever lie to me. Feels good to have at least one strong ally at the same age here. And he makes me smile. Chloe. Then there's Chloe Price. What do you say to your best friend after five years of silence? After finding out you saved her life in a bathroom? What? Oh right, yeah, okay. So I was I was right. I mean had to be her, right? She wouldn't even... She wouldn't even know that we saved her life, right? After finding out uh, you saved her life in a bathroom. Nothing. I feel so lame for not uh, staying in touch or even text. I have no idea how to process seeing Chloe like this again. For one thing, she looks so similar but so different. She's all grown up now, but it doesn't seem like she's only one year older than me. I absolutely love her blue hair and punk clothes. It makes sense she would become a rebel. She still kind of looks like a pirate, except one who stage dives. I know she's angry with me because of her body language. Glad I can still see the old Chloe in there. Or is that the young Chloe? I'm sure she's still messed up about her dad dying. I would be too. That was a terrible time for Chloe and Joyce. I feel bad because I wonder if I was happy to move away just to avoid the grief. Speaking of grief, it's clear she's all mixed up with Nathan Prescott's shit. No idea what's going on between them, but I'm going to find out, no matter what. She's all mixed up in the press con shit, okay. Two more people to meet. Uh-oh. The prices are late on their bills. Joyce looks happy. Chloe's stepdad might not be a douchebag after all. Uh, okay, well... I don't know, maybe we did get the wrong impression. Joyce always loved her mail-order catalogs of useless crap. Aww. Joyce has a little shrine to William. Her new husband may not be such a douche. Is that holiday with William and Chloe? Okay. Enough snooping about, I think. These Maybe books not. have not been touched since the last decade. I see why. Nothing's changed. Except for me and Chloe. Can we get a picture of that bird? 
Where did it go? Oh, it's up there. You've been resurrected, Birdie. Fly, be free. Ah, uh, let's keep it open. Uh, I can't go in those doors we tried. Some mail. Doesn't Has look to. like the Price family is rolling in dough these days. Now this is the Chloe I remember. Always smiling and laughing. Not so much anymore. She was in skateboarding too. Some nice shots. Kate. Oh, um. Thanks again, Max, for helping me. No problem. That guy's an asshole. That's cool. I haven't seen this place in five years. Seems like forever. I'd love to go to Paris, too. At this rate, they'll be lucky to get to Portland. I'd love to go to Joy Paris, Joy still works also. at Two Wells Diner. Best damn burgers in Arcadia. I better get one soon. Cereal, milk, peanut butter, chocolate cake, oil... Oil bananas? Ugh. <laughs> Obviously, that's different things. Or it's cake oil. Toilet paper. To under underlying toilet paper. Most important thing. Toilet paper, the most important meal of the day. Yum, that looks tasty. I do miss Joyce's cooking. Go out. Look around. Oh. Hey, I remember that stain. Chloe and I knocked over Joyce's wine bottle and we scrubbed forever, but it never came out. We got so busted. If I took this picture, the deer would be standing on your ass. Not a big fan Damn, of hunting. Damn, it's the couch. We used to pretend it was a pirate ship. Looks like a ship wreck now. I should be able to find the tools I need here. Uh, I kind of want to go out. Let's, let's take a look in the yard. Brr. I can feel autumn pushing out the summer. William used to grill awesome burgers for us. I wonder if he was the last one to use this. So condiment sitting by it? We made this grave for Aww. Chloe's kitty. Poor Bongo. He never saw that car coming. Oh, nice. That took Chloe and me the whole day to draw. It's almost invisible now. Oh, I loved this swing. William made it just for me and Chloe. Well, let's take a swing. Hopefully it doesn't break. What do you truly want to do when you grow up? Max, I'm already grown up. What about you? Travel. That would be awesome. Explore the world. Go far from here. Far from me? Thanks a lot, dude. Dude, you would totally come with me. I need a bodyguard for our adventures. I would be like Lara Croft, except real. That would be majorly cool. Totally. We'd have cars and boats and planes all over for instant escape. And no adults could tell us what to do. Count me in. What would you do while I was bodyguarding you? Maybe take pictures of our adventures. I would love to be a photographer. As if I ever could be. What are you talking about? Max, you are a photographer. Your pictures could be in a museum. Someday they will. I believe in you. It's, I feel 
How could we just like not communicate with her for five years? Got to be something more to it than just like us moving. But that was it. Let's get our camera fix. No password. Like it would help me find tools anyway. Huh. What if we could find the password? Files. Shit! Butterfinger! Picture. Kate Marsh? Why the hell would he have pictures of her? Okay, this is getting totally weird. What? 3.17 p.m. Blackwell Academy parking. She knows something. Let's go back. So we, we saw the photo. Wait, if I look... I don't want it... to look at these creepy photos okay. again. Why does David have them? There's the tools. These are way too big. I need tiny tools for that camera. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> she knows something. Well, let's take a look. Wowzer, a map of Blackwell Academy. I wonder why. Camera placements, okay. What the? Chloe's stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms? For reals? What? This guy has serious trust issues. Do Chloe and Joyce even know about this? Okay, well, let's, let's go back. We have the knowledge, right? So we could just reverse the actions. Oh, let's keep going. That's really cool. So we can find out information and then just reverse time to like hide our tracks. Hmm. One of these guns is missing. I hope Chloe's stepdad isn't packing heat. Yes. Good shot score. too. Oh. Some finer tools Chloe's in here. Chloe's stepfather maybe? is this asshole from Blackwell. You've got to be shitting me. I mean, we kind of already figured that one out. Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school. How paranoid can you get? That's that's a really weird photo. <laughs> Who took that photo? Maybe he's just ugh, maybe it's because of the disappearance of all these women there Buzzy, or all these this girls. Is so lame. Maybe he has, uh, maybe he does have our interests in mind. Poor little dear. It's our not safety enough in to mind. kill you. They have to display your head. Look at all that food. That's like enough spam for a hundred years. Uh, so that was probably like his apocalypse magazine thing or whatever that we saw, uh, in the bedroom. It's probably extremely, obviously he's extremely paranoid. Check out the muscle car. Chloe's stepdad must be a gearhead. Okay, where are these tools? We're back here. Must have missed something. I'm just not sure where. Maybe on. Oh, in the cupboard, maybe? Yummy corned beef. Not in there. Can't open those drawers. Oh, there we go. 
Ooh, precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. That does not look stable. Oh, that'll knock it over, right? It's gonna shake. I got it, I got it. Okay. That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. Let's see. The tools are stuck, out of reach, and no way in hell. Oh, I get it. Man, I should have done that before they fell. Luckily, we can. That's so cool. Okay. That is really neat. I love that. I love that. That's such a cool idea. It's just like... This is one of the problems with adventure games. It's like, you just get stuck. You don't know what to do. It just like shows you what to do and then you can go back and do it. Kind of. Without feeling like... You're cheating, kind of? Yes. You have mad skills, Max. I've so, got the tools. I should go back upstairs before Chloe freaks. Okay, I should probably turn this off also. But what's... Okay, oh, answering machine. Chloe, if you're listening, Pete was cruising home off duty and told me he saw you near that garbage dump. Now I've ordered... Told you to stay away Hortered. from that place. It's dangerous, you got no idea what kind of scum are living out there. Stay away. I'm serious. Why the garbage dump? Wonder why she would go to the garbage dump. Guess we could ask her. We have some info to uh, to tell her. Or she's gonna react to that. You found the tools. Sweet. You can sit at my desk and fix your camera. It's not working. So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah. I just took them today. Let me see. Wait, I've seen this before. Uh, no way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today. You set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. Now tell me the truth, Max. Yeah, we're telling the truth. I was there, hiding in the corner. Damn. You are a ninja. A ninja yeah, right. would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. Same that thing. That is so badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? We actually, uh, we didn't say anything, but, um, so it wasn't I sure. I wasn't sure. I know I look a lot different. I was scared too. I, I couldn't see straight. I don't blame you, Max. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. <laughs> yeah. Just a bit. There is no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? Um, I mean, we told the principal about the gun. We didn't tell anybody about the conversation. Like who? Just like, like anybody. Who? Stop stalling, sister. The principal. But he didn't seem to believe me. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash from Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. I didn't mention you at all. Swear. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. Well, you kind of helped us out back there, also. I, uh, 
know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. Nice! That's so cool you remembered my birthday. But I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. There's yeah, the man, hard I'm stuff. I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. <laughs> Hey, what do we want to do? Photo? Sure. This song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Yes, break it down, Max. She's got the moves. Not really. <laughs> Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. Dude, the music's not even on! Asshole. I'm coming up. We need to talk. Oh, no fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. Chloe, what's going on? Open this door, please. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? Max, find a place to hide now. <sighs> Chloe, I'm Get coming. That closet. Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just... Let me in now. Uh, no, not the right choice. <sighs> Chloe, I'm coming. What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. Oh, let's move that I'm first. Changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just let me in now. There we go. There we go. There One we go. second. My bra is stuck. I'm not screwing around. So shit. What's going on in here? Jesus, I'm just trying on clothes. You're so friggin' paranoid. Yeah, combat. We'll do that to you. One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh, God, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait, is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh, yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. Whose is it? Fuck that. We're stepping in. I'm sorry. That was my joint. Well, well. I don't like strangers in my home, especially dopers. So you're bringing drugs into my home. How about if I call the police? That'd screw up your spotless Blackwell record. You do seem to get around, Max. I'm sick of you losers dragging Chloe down. Missy, you sure do like to pop up and start trouble. Like this afternoon. You don't have anything smart to say now, do get you? Get the hell away from huh? her, man. Stop harassing my friends. You don't have any friends. Like you know. You're not even a real cop. You're a fucking security guard. I was a soldier, Chloe. And Max, if I see you here again, you'll learn all about real trouble. So, I guess we... One of our decisions kind of... Because you're such a badass, Max. Let me show you my new toy. Kind of came back to bite us in the ass there. I'm Price. Chloe Price. Bang. Jesus, put that thing down. Oh, we, she Chill did take relax, the gun. sister. It's not even loaded. Yet. I thought you believed in gun control. Yes, I believe I should control the gun. It's the men who need to be checked. You trust Nathan or David? Thanks for taking the heat. We totally smacked his punk ass down, Max. He's no match for you and me now. That was an epic win. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can hang in this hickle. Guess she's talking about the dump. Man, okay. that did not go well for me. If I want to keep my Blackwell scholarship, I shouldn't lie for anybody, even Chloe. I have to think about my own future. Okay, this is a tough one. It's a tough one. Let's see what let's see how it plays out. I kind of want to go with like my first my first like instincts with stuff.
You're giving me a look I haven't seen for a while? What's the problem? Uh, let's try. Put it you back. You should put the gun back. Too dangerous. Only if somebody gets in my way again. Please don't talk that way. You think I want to? I'd rather be in LA with Rachel than hiding a gun. This is all just so scary. I know, Max. But I do feel safer having a 9mm in my pants. Well, I don't. Guns make me nervous. You should be playing guitar, not playing with a gun. When assholes stop threatening me with guns, then I'll stop playing with mine. Your gun can't stop a bullet in your back. Max, I'm not looking for trouble. I just want protection. If anybody in this country should have guns, it should be women. Max, open the window and we can blow this popsicle stand. I, 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 not a big fan of guns. I wish they didn't exist, but... It looks like we're not convincing Chloe. I understand her position. I mean, she did get a gun pulled on her, so... She's just trying to defend herself. Oh, the lighthouse! I thought it would be the- I thought it was gonna be the dump again. Comes full circle. If we're gonna have another one of our... One of our dreams. Oh, the deer. Isn't this awesome sauce? Totally reminds me of when we were kids. Come on, slow poke. Hold on. I haven't been here in forever. So why do I feel like I was just here? I started the day here. Whoa. This is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. Hello, cute little squirrel. You and me, stare contest. Oh, we won. I feel like I'm in my nightmare again. Is this on the ground? Oh, it's just garbage. It's a shame people have to like just throw garbage on the ground like that. Earth to Max, your white knight worn here. I know you're worried about me. Got that black eye. I owe you. Thanks for today. I'll call back later, okay? I swear. No problem. And you still have to tell me your big secret. Kick. Okay. Birds are so lucky. They can always escape. So birds are definitely a symbol in this as well. Wowzer, Chloe drew that to mark our tree fort, so we'd always be able to find each other in case of emergency. <sighs> sure that's gonna play a part later on. I don't remember this at all, but it seems like it's been here for a long time. Where we saw the vortex. That is such a cool view. Such a small town. Looks like the youth of Arcadia Bay still come up here to party. I never made it. How long has that been here? Too bad it's locked. I remember racing up and down the steps. Clearly, the Bigfoots are everywhere. The big feats. What is this? Weird. Those glyphs remind me of the wind. The strange thing to say. Okay. Footprints. Those sure aren't big feet. What kind of animal left those prints? Big feet, see? I told you guys, I was right. It's big feet. All right, let's go talk to Chloe.
We need to work this out. You sure you don't want to be alone? Have a seat, Pete. You're in a good mood. Seeing my step dork get played makes me happy. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. Um, we're gonna try to be honest. Um... He freaked out on poor Kate Marsh today. I know her. She's cool. Only that prick would bully her. He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? Well, yeah. I couldn't help it. Never change. What did you find? Creepy photos of Kate Marsh. Other Blackwell students. This dude takes his job too seriously. He still thinks he's at war or something. He's a total surveillance fetish. There were there spy cams in the house. I knew you didn't know. Chloe, your house is under surveillance. What are you talking about? There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it. He is so hella fucking paranoid. I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. Okay, let's find out Nathan's secret. What's Nathan's secret? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. Oh no. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. So, what about you and Nathan? We went to his room at Blackwell. He drank, and I laughed at his rich kid bullshit. He was one step ahead and put something in my beer. Oh no. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. Okay, good. She got out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. Oh. I am so furious, I can't even speak. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. She's not gonna want to call the police. But let's try. What are you going to do? Pop a cap in his ass? Let's call the police. Screw that. You already told the principal and I'm sure it's useless. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass. Uh oh. Again. Oh, oh man. No. What does the deer mean? Is that supposed to be Rachel, maybe? Is Chloe still up there? Oh, God! To find oh. Out. 
What? That scared the shit out of me. What is this deer? Whoa, 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 whoa. Considering the butterfly represents Chloe, what is the deer supposed to represent? Yeah, or is that supposed to be us? We do have the deer on our shirt. I've never seen a storm like this in Jeez. Oh my lord! The tornado is back! Oh no! Whoa! Oh, I need to hurry. Nope. Newspaper. Oh my god. What does the newspaper say? October 11th? Is this Friday? That's only four days away. So we have four days to find out what, what causes this, I guess. The tornado is headed straight for the town. Chloe, you're here. I'm back. Oh my lord, this is real, it's real. Oh man, this sucks. Max, what's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years. We just saw No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had the same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But I, right? Listen to me, how do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. There's no okay, way you could prove this to her. I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. Snowing? What, what the hell is this? Snowflakes? It's like 80 degrees. How? What the change. hell is going on? Or a storm is coming. Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything.
Wait, what are those? Oh, that was episode one. Okay, guys. Wow. I am psyched about this. What's causing us, like, what's giving us that power? What is the storm? Is it just some, like, natural occurrence? And we have to, like, protect the city against it? Like, just warn everyone? What's going, like, who's kidnapping these people or killing them or what, what not? Those red books? Reach of the girls that I guess were murdered or kidnapped or something. What's going on with that? Hmm. Chloe's father. All kinds of like questions that are going to be answered later on. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, this first episode. Like I said, I'm going to try to record uh, one episode per for each video is going to be one episode. It's long though, uh, I have to admit, I was starting to get tired towards the end of that. Um, but it's kind of cool to just experience them all in one go and give you my thoughts as I go along while everything's like fresh in my mind. That was, uh, that was exciting. I'm looking forward to seeing what, what's gonna happen in the later episodes. The, uh, the voice acting's pretty good of the cast and I really like that that time rewind mechanic it just it just solves a lot of the problems that adventure games have where you're just like constantly trying to use everything on everything it just takes all that guesswork out because it kind of shows you what's going to happen and then you can rewind time and, and, and like fix it and I'm liking it's got like it's kind of it's got like a little Twin Peaks -y vibe to it which I love a little Twin Peaks of course, the new season just started up. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, recording, the video. And uh, once again, I'd just like to thank my patrons for all the support and everyone that's that supported the channel and, uh, and the stream. Um, I hope you'll enjoy this playthrough as much as it looks like I'm going to enjoy it. And... Uh, I think I'm just going to wrap it, wrap it up here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on episode two. I'll let the credits carry us out. This is Luckless Love Locks, signing off for now, and I love you all. Always made Montreal. Maybe. There is a lot of French names. Uh, for a lot of French names in the in the credits, that is. Tons of people worked on this. It's it's like this is like it's almost like a triple A indie game. It's interesting to see like this many people working on um, more of like a classic, not classic, but more of like an adventure game.
crediting everyone in the company. They're really making it feel like a like a film or like a TV show. It's pretty cool. Twenty fifteen, okay. I didn't think the credits were gonna take that long. <laughs> Thanks again, guys, if you watch through the credits. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, this is cool because a lot of people have played this game. So it's gonna be interesting to see if we chose the most popular stuff. Reported Nathan sixty five percent. Comfort of Victoria, 74%. Of course, we picked the most popular stuff. Intervened. Came out of hiding to intervene. Stayed hidden was the most popular choice. Blame Chloe, 1%. Wow. Oh, that's nuts. Oh, that was a long session, guys. I don't usually record for this long, but that was a lot of fun to do, like, this a marathon session. Um, Let's go... Wait. Oh, there's more. You let Daniel draw your portrait. We were in the minority there. That's weird. We signed the petition. Minority. Helped Alyssa. Not surprising. Erase the insults. I guess maybe a lot of people didn't find that. Watered your plant. Yeah. Didn't touch Dana's pregnancy test. Oh. I didn't even see that. I didn't touch it because I didn't even see it. Huh. Didn't touch Victoria's photos. Didn't write on a dirty RV. Hmm. Save the bird. Didn't break close snow globe. Yeah, not surprising. Didn't leave any evidence. Did read the files. Oh, friend stats. World stats, that's cool. Okay, I'm gonna just exit and just see what happens. Oh god, preview for episode two. Wow. That's cool. Out of time. Looking forward to that, guys. Um, exit to main menu. Thanks again for watching. Uh, I forgot to mention, if you did enjoy this, don't forget to like the video. Helps uh, other people find my channel. And um, and I'd truly appreciate it. I, I won't bug you for the next episodes. I just usually do it on the first video for a new series. And uh, also, subscribe if you like my stuff. Um, thanks, thanks again for watching. This is Luckless Love Lock signing off for now, and thanks again to my patrons. And uh, I love, I love all of you guys, and I'll see you next time.